the the four banks were there led by the uh, madam madam had another uh, two persons to assist her one lawyer another is uh, another dgm and uh, a private bankers they were there and also we had other all were good i was very very unfortunate that everybody are very they were not abusive they wanted to really work for the very good bankers and uh, what happened is uh, i said okay they said uh, you are the leader of the team and uh, we'll all work together for success so, and um, first then i met the uh, promoters first we called for a meeting of rp and that day itself a meeting of the promoters also but rp was uh, saying that uh, he was not able to function because uh, uh, the promoters were uh, trying to attack him but he didn't give anything and uh, they um, he he just gave me some few files valuation of the property that thing else and then um, actually the um, is very knowledgeable but that much i know but he was uh, bothered and uh, next uh, we start so what what i did is we discussed prior to the meeting stakeholders meeting uh, you have to be very careful because uh, everything is legal we have to record everything so because uh, you cannot uh, this is you are dealing with uh, public money and the bankers are dealing with uh, money of the corporate debtor assets are there so many liabilities you may be exposed to. therefore you have to be pakka so as usual i created a whatsapp group and so that we can deliberate everything recording they they react you react they did not object and i explained to them uh, what is the impact of liquidation and uh, Uh, it is better to come out by coming with a settlement with the bankers and like that. they were also brothers were fighting one brother and so the other brother and uh, they were very emotional suddenly suddenly they become so a lot of days we have spent with them and uh, then we the meeting they agreed to settle the matter and uh, take over the assets and we and um, meetings were going up two three meetings took place there after that madam uh, and uh, the bank which uh, the, this bank only mortgage got the property mortgaged a property seven floors building stock was the stock belongs to all the bankers the floating uh, charge there is all other assets uh, everything were belonging to the mortgaged bank land is the price property so the madam said you are uh, sincerely working therefore we would like to transfer that uh, property instead of liquidation estate we will give it to you to the liquidation estate because uh, selling after 52 is a problem for them uh, because they can go to the court and then uh, get the stay i do dr proceedings and uh, uh this man is highly to get uh, too much of litigation is there and um, every property under 52 is under litigation uh, whoever has purchased uh, they will uh, they have a lot of problems uh, therefore what happened is uh, madam said you we will give it and she gave like that we have to file to with the nclt all the status for proceedings and uh, that's what we are doing ibba has opened some pool we try then ica also is professional agency as i'm repeatedly telling there is no need for uh, what i can say is professional agencies they do no work for us absolutely no work and you have to pay them a uh, professional fee subscription and these are only 3000 people are there and it should be done by ibb this is my next grievance which i am presenting otherwise i'll challenge the provision uh, validity of the provision that's what i'm thinking once this uh, lockdown goes off we can do that but uh, generally there is no justification for having 
two agencies for just three thousand. ICA has got uh, three lakh uh, members and uh, uh, ten lakh students. Uh, have one body, and why should you have two bodies for two thousand or three thousand people? And they are not producing any result. Either ICA, ICA, ICA has done its job. That's all. Then what is the additional? Then if they are conducting CP hours. Then they can charge for it if people are going to take them. Is the point, and let us see how it takes uh, shape. So then we have uh, working, but the madam uh, has given good direction, coordinating with all the people. He was very respectful, like uh, really honest and uh, like a sister. He did it, but she is a go getter leader. She will ask you, come on, do this, that. Otherwise, she will get upset. But uh, we were uh, being given advice because uh, the private bankers know it because they have seen so many cases. Every time they give caution, politely they will talk, and all of them will be thinking what would be the strategy. So finally, we gave a deadline to that uh, bank, uh, the promoter, and they were about to settle the matter. They said, but that day they came. And really, like uh, abused. So we knew they are ready to attack. Nothing is going to work. But uh, what happened is, his promoter during the entire CIRP process is in one hour. He is owning that property, the custody of the property, huge stock, boring sales. He was. Uh, the RP was telling that he they never gave any books or accounts, and he is afraid to do that. And uh, then uh, the private bank told this fellow went and then got uh, for Ashok Magnetic on company police protection. Why did he not do that? Anyway, it is not my job, so I was just listening to. I am only thinking how to solve it. Because once the madam has given it uh, for uh, uh, this um, uh, liquidation estate, you are under table methods. So you will get a good uh, fees so if you sell the assets. So that uh, there is nothing wrong when you work really hard and you get it. Let us put best of our efforts. Uh, this was my thing. I worked out my strategies. The coordination of them. We almost conducted every ten days one stakeholder meeting. The first issue that we confronted was we have to vacate them from that premises. The stock uh, as declared to the bankers uh, was around 72 crores. Last declared is 79 crores. Thereafter, the four years, five years, they never submitted the finance. This everybody is doing. Then they already started a partnership for same name of the company, and they are doing very well. Uh, nearby, very well. They are not bothered. They don't pay. GST income tax attachment was there on the property. The property itself, there is no uh, proper uh, land valuation when we wanted to put it. The proper sanctions were not there. Every everything is full of problems. I think that man will come with the police itself will come when he comes to my house. Five six police will wait outside for him. So then he will come up and try to. Uh, you know, intimidation is as good as this thing. I wish because we keep on watching. A lot of time will be spent with them. So we all decided to move and sell. Get the vacay, get him vacated. Take custody of the property. That is what the uh, liquidation says. So we gave advertisement. We got uh, claims. Uh, that process, uh, claim processing was uh, done. Not many claims. Four to five people were there, and uh, thereafter uh, we this uh, three months lost because of these negotiations. Uh, and uh, thereafter we went for uh, we filed the petition. So uh, because they pay, I'm go, I know now. I've been appearing in Russia, so I used to go there. <laughs> It was a great luck for me. Anil Prakash Kumar J. He came from Mumbai to Chennai, and uh, <clears throat> then uh, I have informed him. Uh, the Lord says this, this is the truth, and uh, they are not vacating. They are people of high connection. Or at least, sorry, 
you know that is the corporate data then uh, we know all of them this is okay then uh, we'll do one thing direct uh, um, uh, police commissioner okay. he came that uh, promoter came and then uh, he appointed a senior advocate fight the case uh, prakash kumar jay is like to see how can liquidate our function does them then what is the law saying liquidators should be given opportunity to do it he is selling on as per the going concern he can also come and bid for it nothing wrong then sitting in that it is wrong keeping the stock of this property belongs to liquidator we are not going to respect law then what is for we are all sitting here and he said, that man broke uh, broader he said i don't like emotions and uh, this is a matter as to be solved as per law so i am directing the um, direct general police to protect you protection to the data and you do whatever has to be done you have passed the first success four times uh, mat was heard the learned uh, adjudicating other is uh, very good judge in the sense uh, he is not going to favor or disfavor anybody he listens well very fast he understands then he knows what is the remedy that extent is knowledge he knows what is the outcome when he listens the case with him and um, in my case i followed a party i was watching the judge actually i learned everything by sitting in that itself i is my guru uh, because um, uh, i got i used to appear for many years but that's a different uh, ball game this is uh, then and there uh, judgments are given so then i realized uh, their lordship doesn't like uh, too much waste of time and analysis or all this so he listens I used to prepare perfect uh, written arguments, perfectly I'll give. And uh, then uh, when the case starts, what's the matter? It's like just he'll wait. So he understands. And other side he lost. Then they'll take time. In the big lawyers take time. Then one more, two more hearings. Third hearing, he'll not uh, think twice. Very quick uh, disposal of the cases. And there is a lot of learning. He will explain also how you should actually uh, how legal judges are looking at this case. What are the facts uh, that will make me uh, adjudicate? And the, because of the written arguments given in a crisp manner, all data is very important. Dictate them and then. So that was uh, what I want all the young lawyers to learn. They should come very well prepared to the court. Excellent. Uh, you know, uh, this many times it is uh, I got proceeded go differently. Here means what are the facts exactly? Uh, we have put it. This is uh, RP. Thereafter, this man is under control of the business so long. Where is the evidence for that? And even now he is uh, the control photographs and everything. And then letters written to him. Meetings conducted. Everything background. So the liquidator is doing his job sincerely because he cannot be hostile to any stakeholders. He has to take everybody with them, and accordingly, I have shown everything. Tak tak tak. If they make the documents on them, what is passed? What is your prayer? Whether the prayer is in line with the law, under what section, what regulation you are coming? Everything. He knows everything, but he would expect you to do that correctly, and then you get the order within one day itself. One the other side gives the uh, opinion this counter, uh, he will pass the orders. Uh, very good judge, we are lucky. Uh, sympathetic judge and uh, fair judge. But as per law, no person of equity and all, only law. And during the course of the arguments, he will explain each and uh, every law. One of the most best judgments which were upheld by Supreme Court was done by him. All right. God is kind to me. God is kind because the madam gave that property and gave us commitment. Further, the madam also said that we should uh, give him expenses for liquidation. All of us have to share. Then uh, they agreed to pay this much as liquidators' expenses, and that is for giving advertisement. We have to give, and uh, valuers we have to appoint, and uh, all these things have to be done. Oh. Now, first step over. 
police uh, protection we have to do. and uh, then we have to police protection uh, is not going to come just like that what order is there doesn't mean policeman will be afraid at all nclt means they don't know most of the people don't know what is nclt high court high court they were thinking so we have to meet deputy commissioner we took help of some lawyers my close friends the government or was very kind he is the man i think is king and uh, we met the police then police will not do anything free then they said you are going to the property is worth uh, so much uh, it will be more than 60 crores so you have to pay us 10% for vacating it then i told him not like that sir this is a court of You say like that. Give it me in writing. Then I will put it before the court. Then I will seek direction. And thereafter, finally, bank has also said uh, we will have to go with some small uh, limit, little amount. They said we will provide twenty-five police officers. Pay so much for their expenses. So we have a problem with IBPA. We don't understand the practical difficulties. And so we have to be extra cautious and uh, record the expenditure now and properly to be done. So that is uh, we did it, and uh, police came. And uh, once that man knew that it's coming, he diverted the entire stock in seven floors to the private uh, company. Parts. Only he left some uh, stock, but it was uh, all second-hand items. All the huge stock was there, but all spoons, plates, and all. So then, here one very important thing we have to do: when you are taking custody, you have to do proper checking, panchanama, and uh, all the bankers came. That was one good thing that uh, banker madam came with the staff, put in the bus stop. And then we waited till the commissioner of the deputy commissioner comes, and then persuading and all that we went to police station, sat so, and finally police came. All of us there. She sat there. So full by hours, full day they sat. I brought my accounting, auditing staff, about twenty people. Then security they brought because once you take property custody, you have to give it to security. And uh, all the stock has to be properly executed. Then the promoter, last minute he came. He took signature of the stock sale. That was the very important thing we took and vacated. Uh, you know, books of accounts and all he is not giving, but he has got perfect books computerized. We don't have anything. Nothing is available. He never submitted. Records to register of companies for five, six, seven years. GST dues were there, crores of rupees, sales tax. One by one, we will handle it with our first for custody. And bankers were very happy, and they all conduct meeting appreciate. They will always give credit, though it is because of them we got this. I was only an instrument, but with dedication. So immediately we have appointed values, and uh, two valuers we have appointed us for the IBPA. We have done it, and the documents are with that bank only. Again, uh, the promoter did not give full documents. We don't know when the there is no the approval of the MMDA. It was uh, so many years back. Corporation approval documents lost. Sanctions are not there. Acquisition proceedings against the property. That will not bother about uh, what are the lagunas. We will dedicate only one. And uh, so, first thing is valuation is done. Again, uh, you have to take quotations. Here, you should be careful. Never delay negligence. Give people quotation. Bring them to this. Make it a discussion. Earlier, uh, like uh, bankers had more power. Now, not there, but still. You go with the stakeholders. Keep everybody with you. Record everything. This is the position I have taken. Everything I used to record minutely and put it in a WhatsApp. 
even some records are lost then everything safety the backup will be so bankers discussions so things and uh, they were giving me freedom your point but still i wanted to take them with the consideration and uh, let so nobody pay point blame to us so valuation is done and average valuation we got liquidation value again the promoters started coming in we will settle it so we have to go for e auction never uh, go for private sale immediately so e auction means you have to conduct stakeholders meeting get the approval and then give advertisement and then you have to appoint e voting e platform there are so many people are available and uh, actually e sales also what you should do is uh, you should catch the buyers first you should do terrific marketing you cannot expect when you give advertisement people will come nobody will come therefore we that is a place where uh, only those community people will buy others they will not allow and should be in that this line of business and these people are uh, related by marriages and they are very powerful in the government ministries and all. this is another problem so i went everywhere everywhere were hesitating to buy and they said this is the value for the property and uh, otherwise we cannot uh, it won't go more than like that they were if you want to buy they will tell lot when you want to sell that the ministers will get about five people really i thought to go road road i used to go there then i thought uh, we should catch some chartered accountants we should catch some bankers who are uh, connected to them because the uh, traders know everywhere and that will be the channel through which we can go through so i called them and also introduced this madam and uh, said uh, they said two percent commission Two percent is nothing. Too much money. So that much we cannot pay. Uh, but um, you know, we agreed to pay one percent, and we decided that four three people very capable. If one man gets, other man will try to spoil unless something goes wrong. We performed a team. I said, "You all work. We have we have confidence in you. I will myself come and do all the work." will talk to madam used to come with me to talk to the people after two three workings and uh, they used to spend lot of time with the promoters wherever they are interested to buy she took care of selling marketing at the and there are two assistants they done wonderful work they deserve all the credit to that me and uh, we we did all that and every day i took it uh, this thing uh, see i have not do it charity but i thought it's a challenge let's do it. and uh, one by one i don't want to think too many problems on the property if you think nothing will come then you lose 10 lakhs and keep it that is what will happen bankers i thought uh, liquidation if i am able to bring full money it will be a great achievement in the meanwhile they were having a personal property that was produced surplus there after uh, that's a very good hotel there it's only this fact then we got hold of some friend of ours uh, top bjp man and he said he is willing to buy so it was low price low price he got and um, that was sold again that's gone in liquidation but the money has come i think that sale is done can't fix it gone next uh, this one and uh, we got everybody they were willing they were people came advertisement we gave same people in that business line of business but uh, some of the matter it should be done so carefully nobody should know that some of he came to know the proprietor they are agreed that uh, emd they will pay we put uh, and then bidding also step ups we have to decide everything should be written in that uh, agreement that advertisement we are giving and uh, but uh, by the time we opened up 15 days time you have to give advertisement you give 15 days after that you have to open for uh, the sale e bidding and this all we have to follow very strictly 
otherwise litigation will come procedural complaints in liquidation are extremely important what is written you have to all change they will challenge in ncla and start fast tuck tuck it should go without litigation one good thing in ncla nclt sale is any sale through nclt is a pakka sale you jai want to challenge you don't go to high court you have to go to ncla and then supreme court so the faster procedure is there quicker remedy is there and uh, oh, that is the best this is very good uh, legislation and uh, now all did not come everybody back down when we again called sir what you think and all they said no income tax litigation is there so we are not interested later on that uh, that the claims of taxes itself is more than the property value no no sir we will clear it and give you free of income tax and come uh, went and discussed so how they disagree then another man was willing to buy this man went and said this is unlucky property and this uh, every 15 years the owner dies like that. again we have to go there they are bad rich people big people running business they are highly sentiment something like this they know they will back and uh, last we are back to square one we are worried are you what happened then we said uh, madam said don't lose heart we will try next again after uh, some time the value was all strategies that again we went to everywhere and uh, and with bankers some educational institutions we used to go there he used to ask questions and questions was like anything and finally um, they were agreed advertisement again you have to give and again value has to be reduced 10% oh i can go up to 25% as per regulation but we don't want to reduce it. we want to keep it there they were asked you know that the property is in great demand we will buy like that we didn't think reduce almost this fellow came and almost he finally said and he said he'll come but he said i want to take uh, measurements again value as we brought measurements then he found lot of faults and then we have uh, that bankers the chief manager took dedication he did not pay electricity we did not pay he paid electricity water tax not paid bankers paid and thereafter uh, surveyors were brought Surveyor Smith, they will again, you know, our government is very honest. Therefore, all we, how many days we used to run? Not me, that uh, chief manager. I uh, incidentally is my student also. Very dedicated because man was continuously, and even the new DGM came after she went become the new manager. He also equally helped. So we really did the work, but that man was continuously following it up, and she coordinated from the head office daily. So we almost concluded. Then they said the land is not there, so we want to cut the price. He said, "Okay." All we said, and again, second year auction went, and he did not come. That also failed. We're all disappointed. Like anything, we don't know whether this man is selling like this. No way. Nobody is interested. And uh, some people asked for fifty percent down from the what's the value? That also they said they won't pay now. Then um, Madam said, "What should we do?" I'm going off. It's very difficult. And um, they all have original uh, properties, uh, but then we were uh, what price we got? Uh, Uh, I told her, "Don't worry, man. We will put our efforts thing like this. Now we'll go for private sale. Two times failed. The third time we are not able. There's a justification for us to go for private sale. And then we went into private. Who is there? Nobody. Luckily, one of our uh, person knew a private bank. So he said, 'I'll do it.' Ah, meanwhile." We have to clear the property. That man asked for a second auction sale. He wanted to uh, 
uh, buy. He said, all the stock is there, what I can do? Generate all this there. You clean it. He wanted to remodel it like uh, one art of uh, beauty. He came and selected everything, architectures all brought, all that. So we thought sale is over. Oh, it's a deal done and all. So then we have to dispose of all the stocks. Where we'll dispose of? And uh, there uh, we have got huge start uh, valued it. We have to get it valued. Plant and machinery comes under that. And then 10 lakhs was the valuation. Then um, what we did is uh, first we went for 100% sale event and we opened. People ran like anything. Police people. And so my team worked very hard. Police were about to, they wanted all the stocks taken. Otherwise, they wanted to attack as if uh, again we went to police station. I used to sit there and uh, DCP. Then, since we have some connections, my friends are very close. I was able to reach the, otherwise police would have attacked us, and, but still they have taken any items really. And uh, we sold, then auction sale we went, we sold. Madam was there, all auction process went through, recordings were done by us. And uh, because we don't know who can complain to us, because the private banker said we have to go through full process. Even a stock wrongly done, they can file a criminal case. So everything done, police uh, um, are against us because the promoter went and tried them. He was uh, really uh, taking care of the police people. Finally, we got 40 lakhs for 10 lakhs valuation, in four times we got. And um, that again was used for the all other expenses like the advertisement is very costly. And um, and private sale. We don't have anybody. But this man went and told one gentleman came last minute. That we man was about to go, we were disappointed. That man came and uh, when he came, they asked him. I thought so many people are coming, what only they're asking. But this man came and said, uh, I'm coming from this. Very simple. And I was just watching him. Then he said, no, sir, how much is that not a deal? And uh, I asked them, are you related to them? He said, uh, we know a lot of related to them, but we don't have any close relations. And uh, what business you are doing? He said, I'm doing this business. Then I thought, it's a related business, so he'll buy. And uh, then he eats burfi always. And, uh, but I know how to find disciplined business from his. And uh, then with him, that uh, general manager came from that uh, branch. And, um, that branch chairman and uh, the private bank chairman and all are my friends. Uh, because I conducted classes for them on um, IBC. All the GMs, everybody are my friends. So they told him, uh, once the record show was there, is there, nothing to worry. Then I told him, this is the valuation. Another person is ready to buy. Now we almost decided to sell. Now what you do? Then he said, I'll pay 50 lakhs above what they're giving. Can you give it to me? I said, you wait. I will get back to you. And uh, actually the other person failed. He did not buy. The architecture, all that he brought. Finally, last minute, he said, no. He asked for very low price. He has cut it down by almost 50%. He, that also he said, uh, I'll pay after six months. Then uh, we were keeping him in loop because uh, who will buy? Because nobody is buying uh, properties. So when I saw him, he's serious. Then I told him, you leave this much. Uh, but then I have to convince. Then the G and DJ Newman came. He's very friendly. And, uh, and he... I told him what I say you run that, and then he said no, I will not uh, agree to you for the sale. Is that they become tangent? Then he said no, sir. Ning on the last day, the Lord Chilla Chilla, how do you know how to do it? We kept it because we have a problem. We don't have a property sanction, and then land is not as uh, measured in that. Two things were there. 
bhatta not there then parent documents missing so all these things we kept leisure we both worked together the madam from there they kept forming like a team the md of the bank was very keen and somehow he was there. all of them believe that uh, i will go through and their recovery dgm is my student again head of us oh we want to put it up us then we know sale is through then uh, finally they said he went on doing it and uh, price is not fixed then uh, told him we can he said you get a uh, corporate transaction i'll give this much i'm ready and you have to clear the income tax these two things you put it bankers are there they are that bankers are so everything they did for that promoter is a very big man in his native place very simple two brothers then that man uh, dgm was bit tough with them and uh, we were going well i was off to him and um, dgm tough means he wanted more uh, realization like a strategically only we did uh, and uh, there after uh, i told him finally what are you going to do was the other man like then he said corporate and sanction sangle padala we will take care you reduce the price by so much i said uh, i'll take it. never i'll say no or as because uh, you know so finally we agree for big sale less so a little less lakhs on sale is done then advance he has to pay for future economy then after some time he said yes i'm ready to pay the advance then um, we took advance um, they paid uh, uh, 10 percent they said no five no no you pay this much and uh, advance they paid a lot of discussion bankers came no this that finally advance was they sell we put a date and so first uh, we have to get approval of adjudicating at the private sale should always be approved by adjudicate file other side is advocate general uh, fighting and um, judge uh, prakash kumar sir last me what are you took advance sukumar you read the regulation right Regulation says that uh, before taking advance, you have to take the approval. You have taken uh, money uh, advance. That means sale is concluded. No, only finalization is not an advance. You have taken obviously possible. Then I told him, my lads, you know the problem. From the beginning uh, is very hostile, highly litigant person. Over. i said that's why i am telling you baba because he's litig and what he will do i'll pass order you are genuine only they will go and see a legal stick that's all when will you get the result then other uh, uh, he saw it from process first process what you did e auction sale there is it advertisement all procedure followed why it failed okay have you written yes sir second Second also you get. We have advertised. We beat this. Oh, so, that also failed. So promoter is uh, doing all these things. Okay. Now what is the price you are realizing? Same price we launch. What is the regulation says? Price anything above seventy five percent of the original price. Okay. And uh, it is possible. We cannot fix it. So you got hundred percent. Um, he asked the other judge. Okay. Pass the order. He said, "This is the law. This is what is done. We feel that uh, liquidator has no malfair intentions. He's been putting best efforts to realize. And uh, in light of it, the price uh, offered is much much higher than what is stipulated by the regulation. Um, that is seventy five percent can be below." Below, but still they are getting so maximization of interest of the 
stakeholders is the guidance of the IBBA, and uh, therefore, I am allowing the privacy approval. As the order then, then, that was a real distance. Once that is done, we are in second stage is coming. All the documents, everything right, and the corporation, whatever fees you have to pay. But then that corporation patta got stuck. Then the bank manager, chief manager, really got some, went and did it five days. Sat. I went there to sign um, as a liquidator only has to sign for the for, uh, authority orders. So oh, that is. Then after what happened, um, we had two problems. Uh, the registrar said, "We will. Uh, this is a very big property sale. So therefore, uh, we have to pay all the ministers and all these people. So we have to pay uh, so much. Only remember name. You see uh, the figure. You will be shocked." Then he said, "For further discussions, you book a, a five-star hotel." Then the promoter said, uh, "That buyer said, 'No, we will not.'" He came out. He said, "No, sir. What is this? The register is not going to register because the property is stuck by income tax clearance not there. And for subject to that, he wants uh, a price which is so high, right? And we have we can't pay. You pay, then we will buy. Then the bankers cannot pay all that. How can they pay? You can't deduct uh, all kinds of things. You would reduce the price like that. You must tell." No sir, this is not a what is a pure price. We have to pay that price, and uh, we will try our best. We will do everything. I will do. Don't worry. Um, but then uh, that uh, GM, I told him uh, regarding registrar, I will manage. I will do something for him, uh, which he will not. Uh, I will get it done. So what happened is I filed. Uh, Yeah, first we thought uh, uh, because this uh, point may not come because income tax problem can be handled because everybody knows. But this has become a big problem for uh, sale now, and uh, so um, what I did is I filed for vacation of that uh, the hypothecary mortgage. Um, that is income tax attachment to be vacated, and uh, it is a clear law. That time law also has come, but we have to explain this. Uh, IBPI is a superior law, and the waterfall mechanism. Their claim, the income tax department also I filed the case. Uh, what I did is uh, I have put the registrar also as a party, income tax department as a party, then the promoters. Uh, promoters I didn't put because they may come and then trouble us. And so this will be this done. And uh, but then I didn't want to bring it for hearing because uh, additional advocate general was there. He may attack. Uh, well, we have not been implicated uh, and stop it like that. So we we made it a uh, little calm. We confidentially we were doing this sale. Nobody knew that is so much things have happened. So that's why uh, that day that uh, petition came for hearing. Uh, that's on fourth uh, September. Then I told the uh, Lord Shiva, "We can post it on Thursday. Why? Why should you postpone it? Is it? But then Jaju started that day. The last minute, uh, first case itself. Uh, so many cases were there. So he told me, Mr. Shiva Kumar, I will not be able to take it. Then I said, Okay, my lad. Mind me. Meanwhile, that people called me. Tomorrow, if you want the registration, they want." Uh, Clear and certain. Otherwise, they will not. So morning, I said uh, that case to be shifted, and afternoon, uh, this is I told him, my lad, this is my problem. My, they have said that they won't pay. Tomorrow, sale should go through. If that doesn't go through. I will. Nobody is going to buy this property. Therefore, uh, income tax clearance, I mentioned, uh, I then exposed it for thirteenth year in my lads. Okay, you talk to income tax department. Uh, then uh, tomorrow morning we'll hear it. Lordship, wonderful. And then uh, 
what i did is i came early in the morning to the registrar i asked him sir i you as the but before that this gm met that registrar he told me gm of that private bank not this private bank the bankers that uh, purchasers private bank he told him that uh, sir uh, you are the liquidator will be able to manage it ning vandu you are asking so much of his will you one percent of that let us close it uh, then uh, he said uh, we'll see that registrar said no i will not agree next day morning i said i'll deal with him don't worry i know how to deal with the registrar immediately morning i went 10 o'clock he was sitting there yes you are the liquidator i said yes sir i am a court officer this is the law these are the provisions but the judge was asking you why you didn't come uh, you are a party this is the petition against you and he got terrified uh, that uh, immediately he said uh, i will register it to bring that i said i'll bring it by 12 o'clock 1 o'clock order i will get you but then how can you get order like that morning only hearing so i told that private bankers gm to go to the ncl to sit down and then uh, um, order passed judge passed the order paying the income tax for the provision clear then he called money as well only after the money came and credited only i signed it and, uh, everybody it is a real everybody bankers are appreciated the gm of the private bank called and told me the promoters and all they were thinking that uh, his law is for them to make money but you proved that uh, it is not so and if it's a determined uh, liquidator or rb is there money will come and you have got them 100% to the bank and uh, like that and was all the bankers had a gmp and all it was a great achievement uh, we did that so there is a we never left to hope because the whole process is marketing and because uh, we were uh, going through the law legal process and uh, since i am only arguing the matter um, and um, learned judges were all cooperated you know it's uh, everybody worked together that gave the money but i had slept okay i cannot sell oh and uh, the thing would have been dead bankers would have lost see you can tell under reasons for not getting it but you see the difficulties i'm not trying to praise myself and uh, it is an achievement but then you need uh, but if you are paying only 10000 30000 to a person what achievement another thing is ipba is sending uh, uh, notices for this thing but then they are not even they don't know also that these people have got uh, the success of this uh, game why it has happened they did not know and they didn't ask me till date all that they asked is 0.25% of the fees reputation i should pay we have challenged that in, uh, this is that's not uh, constitutional validity of that notification because of covid it's not come that is the story so in the next lecture we are going to talk about uh, the section 43 45 49 and 66 in this case the diversion of funds forensic audit how to establish before the court and uh, the honorable judge prakash kumar sir explained how the section has to uh, the lawyers have to feed information how do auditors have to do it get it done because uh, this is a criminal proceeding 49 and 66 so criminal proceedings means beyond reasonable doubt beginning to end one has to prove it that is what he said i know 